No, we won't be flying people into space from Spaceport Cornwall. We'll only be flying satellites. <laughs> um, launching satellites is hard enough. We're really focused on that. That's where the value is going to come from Cornwall, is all the technologies that um, satellites are doing in space, but also our, all the R&D that we can do on the ground. I think the UK is quite far away from launching humans to space anytime soon. So at the minute, space travel is, it is impactful to our planet. Um, when you look at a launch, nothing about it looks very environmentally friendly. However, things are changing and technologies are changing and technologies are becoming greener and cleaner. Because the thing is, we need space. We need space to help fight climate change and to make our lives here on Earth more efficient and, and to benefit life on Earth. So we do need to get to space. But that's the thing, we, the, we need to get to space in cleaner and greener ways. And that's where we're really excited for space. Facebook Cornwall to really take a lead in how we access space in a more sustainable way so that that small impact that we will have on our launches is actually going on to do something much, much greater to help our planet. So space debris is a big issue. Um, it's the hot topic. Um, and we don't want to be, add to that problem at all. We've gone about 50 years of people putting stuff into space with not really any sort of onus on them to clear up their orbits. But that's changing for the good. Um, and what you have is people taking responsibility for what they're launching to space. At the same time, t new technologies coming that will help clean up our orbits. So things like giant nets and in-orbit in manufacturing and in-orbit mechanics that will go and fix um, satellites. So you get this new technology coming in that's now being invested in and that was the other thing that was missing before was people weren't really investing in these new startups that were going to help clean up our orbits. So for us here in Cornwall we'll ensure that every single satellite that we do launch has a deorbiting policy on it that it's not part of that problem of, of space debris but we'll also be working with companies like Spaceforge who will be looking at how we can um, clean, help clean up what's already up there. So we definitely want to engage and be open and transparent parent about what we are launching, how we're launching it, and what it's doing when it's up there and how it gets back down again. Yeah, so as we all know at the moment, councils are really struggling with things like housing crises and um, healthcare and mental illness in their communities. We know this. Um, and we also know that council budgets aren't infinite. Um, but the thing about Spaceport Cornwall, and we do get asked this question quite a lot, is that we're not actually taking away from any of those fundamental um, pr projects in Cornwall that are going to do some really good stuff for our communities. Our project is funded through Cornwall Council through a prudential borrowing, which basically means that it's an investment in their asset at Cornwall Airport Newquay, where they expect a return on that asset. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We are a revenue generating project. The revenues that we generate from Spaceport Cornwall will go back into Cornwall Council and be part of their wider budget so that they can use the money we make from Spaceport to go into programs around our communities here in Cornwall. So we're looking to launch with Virgin Orbit at the moment between two and three times a year over the next five years. And that's just really a pragmatic approach to where the market is at the moment. There's a lot of satellites that do need to be launched here in Europe and the UK, but we wanna grow as the market grows. So we think in the next few years, it will be about two to three launches a year. So it's more about quality over quantity at the moment. However, what we are doing is actually using that as the cherry on top of what is a much wider project, much more about growing the cluster base here in Cornwall, using launch to act as a magnet and as a catalyst to attract other businesses that are really excited about launch, that want to come and be part of it. But actually where the value is going to lie to us here in Cornwall is those startups that come in, those satellite companies that come in to start manufacturing alongside where they're going to launch. And that's actually happening now. So we've already announced several companies that are here because of Virgin Orbit and because of launch, but they want to start up their own manufacturing facilities on site or their own satellite applications companies here in Cornwall or expand their marine business for instance into the space industry and provide um, some of the supply chain items that we need for a launch so the, you know the launch itself two to three times a year that's just a way of attracting other investment and something that is, is real for Cornwall and, and will make this project much more sustainable in the future
No, we don't. <laughs> uh, we do not have enough satellites at the moment. Um, humans are hungry for satellite technology. Um, every single day we, we use satellites and it's, you know, the innovations that we, you'll see in satellites, whether that's monitoring your planet, keeping heavy polluting industries, making them more efficient or holding them to account or holding countries to account. I sit at conferences, you know, and I'm blown away by the innovations in satellites and the new applications for satellites. And the, the size of satellites is coming right down. So what's up there at the moment is great for some of the stuff we need, but for the future and for things like AI, and, and big data. We need different kinds of satellites. We need more innovative types of satellites. We need satellites that we can launch, that we can actually change their applications in orbit. And that's all happening. So we need to get those satellites into space because everything now is, 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 is relied on that satellite technology and we need to have the right pieces of technology up into space. So we're really proud of our outreach activity. It's the reason my team get up every single morning is to inspire the next generation, especially here in, in Cornwall, with careers in a, an industry like space. Whoever imagined that you could walk into a sector like space in Cornwall? Um, however, we do get questions sometimes if we're, we're showing both sides of the industry and that we're maybe just brainwashing children into thinking that space is, is the best thing um, and it's all good. Um, we're definitely not doing that. When we go to schools, we are talking about what our carbon impact is, what the ethics in space look like, um, what careers are really like, especially for girls. You know, I talk about my own personal experiences coming into the industry and some of the negatives of that. So we really want to show a balanced approach to this, to this sector. Um, at the end of the day though, this is what it's all for. We need new, younger people to come into the industry and, and to really change the way things have been done. Um, and when we do go to schools, I get asked all the time some really challenging questions. So I have faith that there's absolutely no way I can be brainwashing any children in this county because they're so clever and they're so up to date with what is right and what is wrong, especially regarding our planet. So this project can get quite personal from time to time. Um, we're a very small team, we're very high profile, we're out and about in the community, we walk our dogs on the beach, we take our children to school. And I'm often approached by people that maybe don't quite understand why we're doing what we're doing or are or, or quite, you know, quite negative about Spaceport Cornwall. And they do often question, even my role as a mother of, of two girls, how I could um, knowingly put satellites into space or launch in space when I know there's an impact to our environment on that. And I guess what I'd say to them is that, first of all, I'm a woman doing it and I come at this from a very different perspective and a different point of view and a different leadership style to some of the men that are leading spaceports around the world. I come at this thinking about how can we change space for good? So where people think that I might not be an environmentalist, of course I'm an environmentalist, I'm just doing it on the inside. I'm doing it from inside the space industry where I'm starting to question how and why things are being done. Um, and the fact that we're open and transparent about our launch, the impacts our launch are going to have, and open to having these challenging conversations. You'll often see me on social media when people do attack me online, that I'll say, hey, why don't we, we stop and have a coffee and have a conversation about this? Because I think you'll probably be quite surprised at what I'm actually trying to do. So I'm very proud as a mother to two girls that I'm really starting to, to break down some, some really challenging hurdles, um, as well as starting to hold the space industry to account of, of the ways that they have been doing things over the last 50 years. So we've been quite open and honest over the years that the military and the, the MOD are a major um, partner in, in, in us in the future. And I think that's just the way that the space domain is going and what we've seen over recent weeks is the fact that we're so reliant on foreign countries to launch our satellites um, that, that it, we just don't have control. First of all, where they're launching from, how they're launching, and who else are on these launches. So where satellites are doing incredible stuff for our planet, 
it, the way that they're getting to space isn't, isn't quite what we would like to see. Um, so we want to work with the military on providing a sovereign launch capability here in Cornwall so that the military can come and launch as part of uh, protecting our democracy in space. This isn't about arming space, this is about protecting our assets in space and doing it in a way that we can be responsive. So at the moment, if one of our satellites gets taken out um, by an adversary in space, and these satellites you know, could shut down all the ATMs in the entire country, um, it could take weeks or months to replace that satellite. What we're gonna be doing here from Cornwall is replacing those satellites within hours, you know, 24, 48 hours with our partners at Virgin Orbit. We can provide a responsive launch. Not only does that get the asset back into space, but it also acts as a deterrent. And I think what we've seen over recent months um, and we recent weeks is that we need to have our own ability to launch our own satellites to space.